Hey, welcome back to the EV show. Today we're going to do a season recap of our electric land speed car, the Electroliner. Uh, just wanted to catch you guys up. I think we're going to roll into some footage. We actually went out to um, the first event of the year, which was actually after Bonneville, because the first four events at El Mirage had been canceled due to COVID. And uh, we go out there. We had a great time. We got some fantastic footage. We ended up shooting a, a commercial for a watch company. Um, we got some test runs in the car. But what we didn't do is we never got a time. Um, we were on the starting line, and they ended up calling the event because winds at that point were exceeding 15 miles an hour. So yeah, so we didn't get to run the car, but we had a lot of fun out there. Uh, the neat thing is we had another event just three short weeks later. We brought the car back, did a few more changes to it. What are we doing? Gonna go on the dial today. Do that. Hi, good morning, guys. Uh, came in a little early this morning. We loaded up the Electroliner. We're gonna take it up to Paradise Motorsports here in San Marcos. They've got a dyno and uh, they've been helping us with the project. They're gonna let us run the dyno. Um, we don't think we'll get the numbers uh, that we can get out of the car because the dyno, dyno does have a limitation of 200 miles an hour, so we have to stay under 200. Um, but we know that the car is not gonna make peak power till about 250. So this is more of a load test for us um, and just being able to sit in a static situation, look at the car, uh, kind of look at some things that we were, um, had some concern about and just wanted to run some numbers and do some data logging with our AEM system. And uh, really excited. I can't wait to get it on the dyno. We've got the dry erase board. Everybody's got their figures. Uh, we kind of have a pool going to see what it will make. But again, uh, I just want to caution everybody before we run it. It's not going to hit peak numbers because uh, the dyno cannot go that fast. So anyways, uh, let's run up to the dyno shop. In his natural element with a coffee in his pocket. Excuse me, do you know where the nearest Starbucks is? Yeah. This one? Okay. <laughs> So we just got back from the dyno, got the car back in the shop, and it made pretty good numbers. We actually exceeded uh, the speed of the dyno. Um, we crashed the computer at 200 miles an hour. Um, the, the car itself doesn't hit peak power until about 250, 260. So we, we really couldn't get peak numbers out of it, but we know what the drive unit can do. It's a Tesla uh, performance drive unit. So we know the numbers there. We were really just trying to test it 
put a hard load on it, look at some battery data and some other things uh, before we go out to El Mirage this weekend. So we really appreciate Paradise Motorsports letting us use their dyno, do some runs on it, get some data. And uh, it was a total success. The car ran really well. And uh, I know we were a little nervous with the tire spinning at 200 miles an hour, that close. But other than that, fantastic. Um, on to the next step, we're just gonna finish up a few things on the car and then take it out to El Mirage and try and break a record this weekend. Thanks for sticking with us. All right, so we made it to El Mirage, we're ready to go. We've got the car all dialed in, Jim's ready to go. It's early morning on Saturday and uh, we're gonna run him down. We turned the power up quite a bit and uh, we're gonna see what he can do. We're real happy to see him run the car. We feel real confident and uh, fresh off the dyno. And uh, you can hear everybody here. Everybody's excited. It's just a fantastic morning. And uh, let's go see what, what Jim can do in the electric liner. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Hey. Oh. We're going to let him run? How are you doing? Visor, please. I'm ready to go. Okay, hold on. Hold on. There's free beer down there, right? And next up, car 1100. This is a Tesla powered electric vehicle. Miler's Club entry. It's a 2019 yeah. All right, so we just finished up our first run, and uh, the car did really good. We got Jim to 182.754 on a 154 previous record. So that gives us about 28 miles an hour on top of the record. So we got a record. We're in the book. We went through uh, impound and got it certified. But uh, the, the car was actually dancing around a little, the front end, and we didn't have this issue before at Bonneville, but we had made some adjustments since then to the axle. We actually put a whole new front axle in it. So we think maybe it was a setup uh, issue. We were, we've still had about an eighth of toe, so we increased that uh, to about a quarter inch, a touch over a quarter, fat quarter. Hopefully that'll fix it. Jim's gonna take another run, and we, we're really trying to get over two, uh, 200. So hopefully he'll do it. Hopefully the front end issue will keep it from uh, dancing around and he can stay in it. He definitely had to lift on the previous run. So lifting, we still made it uh, 182 in the mile pretty good. So hopefully he can run without lifting. Hopefully we can get two, get another record. I'm so stoked. This is so much fun, man. The, the, the El Mirage is just epic and SCTA and the whole organization, super well organized. The whole event's just going off fantastic and we're getting ready to roll up in line now. So I'm gonna get it to it. Yeah. Okay, it's Sunday morning and uh, we got the car charged up again. We're gonna go for another run. We got quite a bit of some headwind yesterday and some dust and some pretty adverse conditions. So uh, we're hoping it, it's really calm this morning, really still out. So uh, got the car all ready to go. We're gonna go for another run. Send Jim down the course, see what we can do. Okay, here's this guy right here, Pete. Man, he has helped us with so much stuff. Helps us belt in Jim every time. Thanks, Pete. We love you, buddy.
All right, so God, what a fun place. A little dusty out there, but absolute super fun place. We had a ton of fun with the car, behaved really well. We set a record. We have the fastest pass of any electric car at El Mirage of 182.754. Now that's exciting for us because we put 28 miles an hour on top of the previous record, but at the same time, we know we can do better. We have some gearing issues. We basically took our car that's set up for Bonneville and we took it to El Mirage. Now, for those of you that don't know, Bonneville, we have three miles to get up to speed and then we can measure our speed in the third and the fourth mile and use that as an average and we get our exit speed as well. Uh, once we get a qualifying run, we have to go back and repeat it. They average the two runs and that becomes your record. El Mirage is a much uh, shorter venue. It's not as long. So they'll only let you run at full speed up to the one and one quarter mile. At that point, there's a 130 foot long speed trap. They'll measure your speed in that speed trap and that's it. You throw your chute, you shut down. So you're really only running hot for about one and a third mile. And at that point, if you get a record, you go straight into scrutineering, they go through your car, you know, they do your weight cert and all of that stuff. And if you pass, you get the record. There's no uh, two-way average needed or anything like that. It's kind of a one and done. So it's a, it's a neat uh, place to go and set a lot of records, take a lot of runs, have a lot of fun. Um, we were able to actually do some handling runs. We worked on um, some of our uh, settings for our toe in on the front end and just tried to help the car uh, be a little bit more stable at speed and Jim helped us out quite a bit with that. So right now, uh, the car has been improved a lot. We, like I said, we did 182, 754. We're a little disappointed because we know with some gearing changes, we can do much better than that. Um, probably the biggest news is our driver, Jim Hoogerhide. Uh, we got together with him and he's actually the proud owner of a Jack Costella Streamliner, very famous car called Nebulous Theorem 2. And we are looking to electrify that in the off season. So that's gonna be really fun. That car uh, in its past with uh, maybe some combustion fueling it, uh, it did 368 miles an hour. So the car is really fast. We know it can go over 300 miles an hour and we hope to take it over 300 miles an hour on electric. Uh, we're not sure exactly where we'll land, but the, the goal of all of this, uh, especially for us being EV West, being a speed shop and really kind of an educational center here, um, the goal is for us to just develop and learn. Um, we're not uh, trying our hardest just to set a record. We really want to come back from these events with a lot of data, data that we can use um, to help us make decisions on our builds, to help uh, our customer base. You know, our customers rely on our technical support for a lot of this information um, that we're actually gathering on um, these race weekends out at Bonneville and in El Mirage. So the car is an excellent platform for that. We actually have some off-season uh, testing planned with the car uh, that I think will give us some more data. And then of course we have the shop testing like the dyno runs and uh, some of the stuff that we're doing here in our shop. So uh, I'm here to say in the off season, we're gonna work on the car, we're gonna improve. We have, have another set of tires. We're working with Rocket Racing Wheels and uh, some of our sponsors to get us set up for a new gear ratio and a little bit better wheel and tire package for El Mirage. And then we're gonna go out in May and run the first event of 2021. Hopefully uh, the pandemic will uh, be out of our way by then, at least to the point that we can return to El Mirage and have a, a SCTA, a full season of races at SCTA uh, because we think the, the cars will do pretty good. So, and then we have uh, possibly a third car that we might start working on and we'll probably uh, talk about that more in an upcoming video, but that's gonna be a lightweight car. We wanted to see what's the lightest electric car that we could do and see if we could get in that first class, the E1 class, which is under 1100 pounds. Uh, there's a lot of records wide open in that class. So as you can tell, we're having a lot of fun right now. This stuff's really addicting. I had some friends tell me ahead of time, you're gonna catch salt fever. And I said I wasn't, and I did. And so I'm fully infected with salt fever right now and dust fever. We gotta go back to El Mirage. Um, so thanks for joining us. Thanks for tuning in and following our journey and, and uh, all the nice messages and people you know, wishing us good luck and kind of rooting us along the way. We really appreciate it, it means a lot. Uh, everybody put in a lot of hard time, especially time late at night and on the weekends and stuff like that outside of normal work hours. So it really was a, a big labor effort, a big labor of love. And um, we're just excited. We're excited that you guys are interested in it and want to follow the project. And we promise we're going to make it more fun, more fast. We're going to have more cars and we're going to do more events next year. And uh, we're just looking forward to it. We're having a great time. So 
Thanks again from everyone at EV West and the EV Show and the Electroliner team. We really appreciate uh, you guys and your support. And uh, we will see you next season.